you look nice tonight, Miss M. Thank you, sweetie. Hand me that butter knife. What are you doing all dolled up and waiting around upstairs? You haven't lured another poor boy into meeting you here, have you? Um, no, of course not, Miss M. I'm just, uh, doing some reading for class before I head down. What a studious thing you are. Which professor assigns you reading from McClure's Honey? How's the crowd tonight, Horatio? Is it a crowd tonight? Maybe more of a smattering. <sighs> so tell me, Vinegar Tom, where's your tuxedo? I think you look rather sharp in it. More importantly, it's possible we'd see some business at the bar tonight if you looked more like the bartender and less like the angry man looming in front of the liquor. No dice, huh? Well, what about all the trouble we went to having you fitted? That tailor we cursed into working for cheap. We practically kidnapped him and... What? Oh, well, I guess I can't expect you to remember that. He had to get you remarkably drunk just to take your measurements. Really, what's so awful about wearing a tux? Horatio's wearing his. Look how dapper. I like my tux. If you gave it a chance, I think maybe you enjoy wearing I your- I think maybe I enjoy wearing it to your funeral. Okay. See? I make a compromise. That wasn't a compromise, Victor. That was a threat. You always get those confused. <sighs> I suppose there's no point arguing with you if we haven't got anything worth serving anyway. Where's Rocky? Zib! Zib! Hey, Zib! Hey. What? What time is it? I think I have to leave. Criminy, settle down. When are you gonna get yourself a watch? It's getting close to witching hour, kiddo. Before you hightail it out of here, humor me. Just what made a lad like you volunteer to go run and hooch around in the dead of night? Well, I... Oops, did you see that? One of my strings is broken. All right, I'm glad we settled that. Go on, get out of here, Moonlighter. I'll be back in a little while, Miss M. No hang-ups this time. I think I'm getting better at this. Oh, there you are, sweetheart. Good luck. It's nice I don't have to twist everyone's arms around and doing their work. I will go too. Victor, wait. That's not your job anymore. I need you here at the bar. What are you gonna do out there anyway? Limp into action and something that hap- Never mind. You know there's trouble when the band outnumbers the audience. So level with me, boss lady. Do I get to spend my humble wages on bad habits this week? Or should I be investing in some train tickets for myself and the boys? No need to be so dramatic. Look, things aren't as bad as they seem. Well, hallelujah for unwitting benefactors. Still, it's a little sad when old friends wind up in your crosshairs, eh? You're an incorrigible pessimist, Zip. It's not like that. Sure. Go get Mozzie to play something classy on the piano for our guests. What are you still doing down here this time of the night, child? Fixing things. You ought to get to bed so you can get an early start tomorrow. You'll get to feeling better once you've found some steady work, hmm? Even if it's not what you had in mind. I know. There's a mighty bee in your bonnet tonight, isn't there? If you're looking to be helpful, quit knocking the plaster off the walls and getting toothpaste everywhere. And land sakes, get to bed! Sorry. Hmm. 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 Hmm.